both of you. I know you and Jas Jasmine and Sophia, this is your last day here. And it has been my pleasure to have you in my office as part of the Canada Summer Leadership Program. And you know that I, as a chair of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, am a federal representative of CWP, which is the Commonwealth Women Parliamentarians. And my job is to mentor young women, to see that they go into politics. So why don't you, both of you, give at least your assessment of how this experience working for an MP has been for you. So we'll start off with you. Okay, Sophie. working for you has been exceptional. I've learned so much and you're such an inspiration because I never knew that women in politics are so strong. You usually see men on TV showing off and then when I come in here, I'm like, whoa, this little lady, she's like a windstorm, you know, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. And I really think that this has um, made me interested in politics because I, I'm a student of justice studies so I thought, yeah, I'll go to law school and I want to be a lawyer. But now when I go to law school, I can be a parliamentarian and it's just so much more interesting and I love it. So you'll take your legal studies and probably channel it towards right. policy development. So Jasmine, what has your experience been? You've been, both of you have been on the Hill and in the constituency office. So what are, is the different experience you've had and how has that framed your mindset into going into politics? Well, on the Hill, um, it's very fast paced. You get a lot more of that actual political atmosphere. And back um, in the constituency office, it's hands on work with the people that you're actually serving. Um, and I've gotten to love and know both aspects of that um, work that you do. And specifically, uh, I feel that my greatest learning um, tidbit that I'll take back with me has just been how to conduct myself with confidence, especially as a young woman um, uh, who is part of an ethnic minority group as we all are. We face discrimination and barriers in our professional lives that others don't and a lot of the time they can be very implicit and subtle and we have uh, firsthand witnessed how you've dealt with this on a daily basis. And um, I believe the answer, um, that as you've shown us, is really just to have all of your, cre your T's crossed and your I's dotted um, at all times because there's absolutely no room for you to be able to doubt yourself or your work since there's no shortage of others who will. Thank you. And so, you know, as young women who are in university and who are moving forward, what advice would you give to other young? How will you mentor others to become politically engaged? I'd say know your, uh, know your parties, mm -hmm. know what your values are, know what your morals are, take a look at it, and you have to be politically involved if you want to make a difference. If you don't get politically involved and if you don't vote, then what are you really doing? Yes, especially for young people our age, I've heard a lot of complaints and not seen a lot of action. Mm -hmm. um, we have no right to complain unless we are getting involved. All MPs have youth councils, all MPs take young volunteers, and there are many mentorship opportunities like the one that we've taken on with you. And it's up to youth to really just explore and make sure that they are doing their part, and I'm going to definitely make sure that I'm spreading that message. Yeah, I can never get over the fact that you told me that you saw there was nobody representing you in Parliament and you decided to run and make a difference. And that's exactly what you're doing. It's incredible. Thank you. Any other words of wisdom that you want to give to young women that might be viewing this video if it goes up onto the CWP website? I would just like all young women to know that they really do have the capability, the capacity to do this type of work and really any work that they want to do. Um, as I said before, there is no shortage of people out there who will doubt you. You have to have confidence other in yourself. Otherwise, the fight, the battle is, is really lost. And education is a key component, isn't 100%, it? 100%, yes. So you will encourage them to move forward with their studies get a footing in the corporate world so that they know what the challenges are and then move forward. Yes. Right? So thank you very much and I hope and wish you best of luck in your future studies and I hope you keep in touch. Great. Thank you. Yeah, women power. Woo!